I'm Sat Cornelio. I'm Shan Kabu. I'm Rose Ibo. And I'm Calvin Kalipusa. And at this very moment of time, we are going to talk about ethical considerations, results and discussions, summary, conclusion, and recommendations. Are, are you ready? ready? Cause we, we are ready. Just sit back, relax, relax and, and listen, listen carefully. Ethical consideration. Ethical considerations can be specified as one of the most important part of the research. According to Brayman and Bell in 2007, the following 10 points represent the most important principles related to ethical consideration in dissertations. First, research participants should not be subjected to harm in any ways whatsoever. Second, respect for the dignity of research participants should be prioritized. Third, full consent should be obtained from the participants prior to the study. Fourth, the protection of the privacy of research participants has to be ensured. Fifth, adequate level of confidentiality of the research data should be ensured. Sixth, anonymity of individuals or organizations participating in the research has to be ensured. Seventh, any deception or exaggeration about the aims and objectives of the research must be avoided. 8. Affiliation of any forms, source of funding, as well as any possible conflicts of interest have to be declared. 9. Any type of communication in relation to the research should be done with honesty and transparency. And last, any type of misleading information, as well as presentation of primary data findings in a biased way, must be avoided. Results This is the core of the paper. Should be supported by introduction and methods sections. Should answer the questions or objectives presented by introductions. The purpose of this section is to present in a simple and direct manner. Report only representative data rather than repetitive data. Do not report large masses of data, reduce them to statistically analyzed. Repeat in the text only the most important findings. Present in tables and figures for quantitative research and quoted answer statements for qualitative research. All tables should be numbered and labeled. Include negative data, what was not found only if useful for interpreting the results. Cite in the text every table and figure by number. Include only tables and figures that are necessary, clear, and worthy. First part shows the result from the table or figures. Second part should be discussed about the arguments of the results. Third part should discuss different citations supporting the result from the tables or figures. You may also include significant discovery from your research. Tables and figures are an important part of a well-written research paper and they appear in the results sections. While tables present accurate numbers, figures show trends and features. Do not present the same data in tables and graphs. Discussion This is also the core of the paper. Explain meanings and implications of the results. Good discussion should do not repeat what has already been said in the review of literature. Show how the results and interpretations agree. Do not agree with current knowledge on the subject. Example, previously published work. Indicate the significance of the results. Suggest future research that is planned or needed to follow up. Deal with only the results reported in the study. The discussion section is written in both present and past tenses. Do not repeat statements from results section. Do not discuss the flaws of the paper. It will just prove that the results of the study are useless. 
summary. This part should anchor an SOP or statement of the problem of your research. In writing this part, present the actual SOP and then immediately present the findings of your study using the data and evidences from the previous chapter of your study. Technically, this is usually written by representing the SOP in bold letters and then present the findings separated by a single space. Example, how comparable are the two groups in terms of their performance in the diagnostic test in mathematics? The non-math talk group has a mean of 11.64, while the math talk group has a mean of 11.54 and were both on the level of below average. The data also reveals that the p-value of 0 0.892 is greater than the significance level of 0 0.05. Hence, with 84 degrees of freedom, there is no significant difference between the scores of non-math talk and math talk group in diagnostic tests. Therefore, the null hypothesis accepted this reveals that the two groups exhibited almost the same proficiency in mathematics before the researcher conducted experiment. Conclusion Conclusions are realization anchored on your research findings. They should be presented as the synthesis of your key points. The hypothesis can be answered in this of your research. Example the respondents in the non-math talk group and math talk group has almost the same level of base knowledge on the topics about number and number sense before treatment was applied. The findings revealed that the students who undergone the treatment has higher achievement compared to those students who thought in conventional way. Recommendations Recommendations should be based on the conclusions of the study. Recommendatory and not a demanding tone should be utilized in the presentation. There are two elements required in presenting the recommendation. First, the action being recommended. Second, the entity, institution, organization, or individual task to implement the recommendation. Example, this study revealed the effectiveness of math talk as an inquiry-based strategy in teaching mathematics. Thus, the following recommendations are hereby presented. Since the effectiveness of math talk has been proven, teachers should incorporate math talk into their classrooms to maintain quality education for the students and help them build a relational understanding of the mathematics. We're already done with our discussion. Hoping that you learn a lot from it. I'm Sat Cornelio. I'm Sean Cabu. I'm Rose Ibo. I'm Calvin Kalipusan. Hashtag PR is fun. Never stop learning.